Hello everyone, this is Chris from Race Concept. Uh, this video is about the Force Works Basic uh, for the BWS 125 and Zuma 125. Uh, it's a few uh, management system. It's uh, very simple and very basic uh, to use. Uh, let's just go through the simple steps of how to use this. Okay, right now the unit is off. Right now it's powered on. As you can see, the white LED is flashing, almost like a heartbeat. What this means is the unit is locked. Okay, to unlock the unit, you hold down the minus and the plus simultaneously for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Right now, the LED is just a bright white. Oh. I hold it too long. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now the LED is just a bright white and it doesn't flicker at all. Okay, now we can go through the modes. Okay, this is the air fuel mode. Uh, this is to tell you if you're lean or rich. Since the bike is not running right now, uh, nothing is going on. This is the third mode. The third mode is you can do a plus five percent or a plus ten percent from seven thousand RPM and up. So right now it is red and white. If you can see that, red and white means ten percent from seven thousand RPM till you hit the rev limiter or till the end. White is default. That means there is no adjustments. Press the negative down. Now it's blue and white. If you can see that, blue and white is 5% increased fuel from 7,000 RPM and up. Okay, now back to mode one. Mode one. Now this is from adjustments from idle to 7,000 RPM. Right now it's in default mode, just white. There is no adjustments. If I was to press the negative down, you can see a blue light light up that means I had minus few. If you can see that. As the more I press, the brighter the blue light will get. Okay, and now I'm going to press it back to get it back to default. So default is white. Now I press it again. Now it's red and white. Red and white means I increased few. And if you just seen a flash, that means it went into memory. Every three seconds, it will go into the memory. So I keep adding fuel. The L the red LED will just get brighter and brighter. Okay. So now I'm gonna set it back to default mode since my BWS 100 125 is all stock, uh, just an air filter and a CVT kit. Okay. So now let's go ahead and start the scooter. Okay, so we're in the mode one, idle to 7,000 RPM. What I'll do is I will increase fuel since it's easy to see the red LED. So there, I just increase fuel. It just flashed red, that means it went to memory. So now it's on the, uh, it just added fuel into, this, into the programming. So I'll just keep adding fuel again. One, two, three, four, five. Wait three seconds. One, two, three, went into memory. You can hear the, the sudden uh, drop in RPM. Okay, I was just gonna keep adding fuel until it's bright red. According to memory, there it died out too much fuel. So let's go ahead and bring that back to stock. Okay, now it's just white. Okay, let's go ahead, turn it off, turn it back on. Start the scooter. Okay, now I'm gonna remind this view. You might not be able to see it too well, but the red, uh, the blue LED has come on. Okay, I'm gonna press it again a couple more times. Wait three seconds. It flash, it flash a blue, but uh, I, the RPM didn't drop, but now it's slowly going down because it's leaning out. I'm gonna keep pressing it some more. 
there. It just went into memory. It just flashed. And now the, the bike is all running funny. It's too lean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back to the default setting. There, just white. That means there is no adjustment and it's on the stock fuel map. Okay. Now let's go to the air fuel mixture mode. I press N for mode. Now this is the air fuel mixture mode. How you can tell is right now it's just red, meaning it's rich. See when I let go of the gas, it just dropped to blue, means lean, and then white is perfect, and now it's back to red. Right now it's red, it's rich. See that's how you can tell it's the air fuel mixture mode. Okay, this is to help you tune when you're tuning for top speed. You should only mostly use it if you're 7,000 RPMs and higher. At idle to, to a 7,000 RPMs, um, it doesn't really do much. It just tells you what's going on if it's functioning properly, but it shouldn't be used as a, 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 tuning, a tuning tool. Okay, so now let's go down to the next mode. Okay, I have it as in blue and white. That means I added a uh, 5%, which it shouldn't be because my bike is stock. So let's bring that back to default. Default is just white. Okay, if I want to add 10% of 7,000 RPM to red line, and that'll be red and white. Okay, so now let's bring that back. Now it's just back to default mode. Okay, no adjustments at all. Okay, so now I'm done with it. I'm gonna go ahead and lock my unit. I'm gonna hold the, the minus and the plus sign for five seconds until it flashes. Okay, let's go back to mode one and lock it. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, right now it's flashing like a heartbeat. It's flickering a little bit. That's when you know it's locked. Okay, that is it. My next video, I'll have the scooter on a dyno and show you how to tune with the air fuel meter. Okay, good luck.